Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Oh, my God. I need to be a Florida VIP because I spent so much money. But I have stuff. <laughs> anyway, so I'm probably going to do a makeup haul when I get back home because <clears throat> I bought makeup too, but I bought, you know, tons of... Let's move on to the point of this video. Okay. Yes. Everybody, we are sick of hearing about James Charles. But, again, as always, things just need to be said. Now, I have seen a lot of stuff between floating around Twitter and YouTube and his his tour. I don't know if that's official his official tour because I thought his tour started like in the summer and it's only like May. But if it is, I really hope that people are not paying $500. And I'm being serious to see him walk back and forth across the stage doing a little bit of this and singing. Girl, no, no, I mean, everybody's saying Beyonce. So let's say, dude, you're not anybody, you know, any kind of musician. You're no kind of celebrity musician. You are not Ariana Grande, you're not Beyonce, you're not Rihanna, you're not none of them. So if you are a beauty guru, which he is, and people are paying $500 to see your show, they're not expecting you to put on a concert. They're expecting you to do makeup, pull people up on stage, give tips and tricks, you know, interact with your audience. We don't, I mean, I understand that he thinks that he sings like amazing. He don't sing bad. I'm, I mean, it's not like it's bad, but he's not at any quality level to be an actual music artist. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like, yeah, when you see his covers or you see him on his YouTube channel singing, that shit is all tuned and, you know, whatever. It's, it's you know, you know, tuned, like, you know, set a little bit back for him. When you're live, dude, it ain't the same, bruh. It is not the same. But let's talk about Jeffree Star. And everybody's been saying, are they still friends? Now, I watched Rich Lux's video, and I want to say that I think that, in my opinion, mine, that I think Jeffrey is done with um, James. Not done, but I think he's got him on a pause. Because I personally think when he put in his tweet that in Michigan he will be meeting people for free in big-ass caps, that is shade. He is shading them, and that's what it is. So I don't necessarily want to say that they're not friends. I don't want to go that far, but I will say I don't think Jeffree Star is happy with him. I mean, James, his ego is so, so big, and it, it, he's got to reel that shit in, man. I mean, seriously, you're charging $500 for a show. Whatever, people paid it, that's excellent, that's fine. But don't, you are not putting on a concert. You are a freaking beauty guru. You are an influencer. You are a YouTube influencer, not a music artist. We don't want to pay to see you prance across the stage and sing. And dude, he was prancing across the stage like a little schoolgirl pageant. I'm sorry. I'm just going to call it like I see it. He totally was. I mean, what in the world was that? I mean, what are you doing? I mean, at least get some moves. And no, we don't want to see you twerk. No, 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 no. No, we don't want to see them things that we see all over Twitter with your ass clap. And we don't care if your ass can clap. We just don't care about your ass. We don't. Well, I'm sure some do, but the majority of us really don't give a shit. But, you know, you're not a professional dancer by any means. You're not a professional singer by any means. Do not charge people $500 and prance across the, across the stage like a schoolgirl in a pageant and be singing. It's just bad. It's bad all the way around. You know, interact with your audience. Pull people up. Give makeup you know tips do like surprise giveaways do a surprise something you know do what people came to see you do not saying just saying maybe you can do that at the finale when people are leaving for saying bye thank you for coming i'm just really saying but 
to be perfectly honest, between the thing with Toddy, between how much money that he's charging for his tickets, the fact that he's walking around prancing the stage like a damn schoolgirl, and, you know, this gay shit, I swear, I really think he, need, he, needs to, he needs to step back for a little bit. He needs to step back, take a breath, and I do not want to see another influencer say, I had to take a mental health break. Well, maybe, I'm sure this is all a lot of pressure on him. But personally, I really, really think that his ego is just poof. And he thinks he's all that in a bag of chips, peeps. He really does. He thinks he is like, you know, he thinks the way that he's acting, he thinks he's almost better than Jeffrey. I mean, to be honest, he thinks he's just the shit. You're not. You're famous. You're popular. Yes. But you are not the shit. Just saying. So that's my opinion on all that stuff. I just think it's absolutely crazy. And to be honest, I, I don't know what he's doing. I really don't. But I think Jeffrey's very disappointed with him. I think, um, obviously, Toddy is very still upset with him. And I really think this is, this is just me doing it out, you know, I think if he doesn't have like a powerhouse in his corner, like Jeffrey Starr, um, and Toddy, if he starts losing them big powerhouses and they start flipping against him, I really see him starting to go downhill a little bit. I know I don't think he's gonna, you know, get in like Thomas Halbert, you know, range where he's, but I really think, you know, his, I, I really think his, you know, his ego is about to take a blow. I do. I did see, um, T by Ali's video that he was losing subscribers. I seen that. I made a video on that. I don't know if it's a glitch or whatever, but I'm just I'm just putting it out there that if these big powerhouses such as Toddy, such as Jeffrey, such as Shane Dawson, if they turn on him and they're like, you know what, dude, you, you've gone too far. You have milked the cow too much. You have gone too far. You've worn out your welcome. You know. I think if that happens, James is going to plummet just a little bit. I don't think he's going to tank and his career is going to go shit -ski. I don't think that. But anyway, today I went over to Sephora to see, but I don't know when um, the Greek or Lunar Beauty is going to be released at Sephora, but it wasn't at least the one at Disney Springs when I went there. But I don't think he's going to end up like in Laura. Does Laura Lee even still upload? Like... She really, like, Manny kind of came back a little bit, but Laura Lee seems like she's struggling a little bit more. I don't, I don't know if she's just not trying hard enough or whatever, but I think Manny's making a slow little comeback, you know, it, it's not exactly as huge and popular as he was, but I really see Manny, you know, crawling back up the spectrum a little bit, but James is going to take a hit. I really do. Mark my words. If those powerhouses say bye-bye, he's going to be screwed. Let me know your opinions and what you think, because seriously, I, I think with all this crap that he's going, got going on, it's just too much at once. And people are really taking another look at James Charles saying, hmm, I'm not sure what to think about this. I think he's going to, you know, lose, you know, a lot of his backing, especially if he loses Jeffree Star. Oh, my word. It, that's just. They're going to be epic. I mean, it just is. But again, I just think Jeffrey's disappointed in him, especially when for free. And I don't think Jeffrey's ever, you know, pay or had people pay. The only thing I know that you got to do if you want to meet Jeffrey is just buy a product from Morphe and then they give you a brand or a brand, a band. I think that's all you have to do is buy like you can so you can buy like a highlighter of his or whatever and get a band and there you go i actually though guys for reals i seen a good set of um his brushes over at alta and at the morphe store and i felt them and i really think i might be interested in them because the foundation brush i really really felt and i really really liked it it's much different the brushes are different than your regular Morphe brushes. That I can tell hands down that they're much different. Um, so I'm actually thinking of taking the plunge and getting a set because I'm like, I 
I really like the way these feel. So, but naturally that one brush, every time, every store that had it, it's all like defluffed, you know, it's like all over the place or whatever. But, um, I really like how that foundation brush feels. I really like the other brushes in there and they'll kind of work for my face shape. And that's what's really cool. So I'm probably actually going to bite my words and say I'm not buying them. They're too much. And I'm probably going to buy them. I have no shame. I will eat my words. I will, you know, say, hey, well, maybe I am interested. Because I said I was not going to get that Manny MUA palette. But when I seen it and I swatched it in the Morphe store, I was like, okay, I really like this palette. So to see it in person, like you can watch all the reviews you want, but then when you actually see it in person, it's like, ooh, okay, I like that. But anyway, these guys, seriously, let me know what you guys think. And I am sorry for making a James Charles video, but he's just unfortunately, at this point, the topic of a whole bunch of bullshit. But I'm just saying, you are not a professional musician. Stop it. Anyway, hugs and kisses to you all. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I can't wait to do like, um, I'm going to do when I get home a haul of what I bought. Um, at least makeup wise, <laughs> unless you guys want to see all my Disney plush toys. I mean, because I got a lot of those. <laughs> anyway, I really hope, oh, they hit this one store. I got to tell you, they hit this one, um, store. They had a dinosaur ride and you guys know if you've been following me for a while, Billy loves dinosaurs. Girl, I bought him some dinosaurs for his room because his whole room is Jurassic Park themed. So I got him some like really cool dinosaurs that I haven't seen in stores or online or anything. I was like, oh my God. So he's super excited because he got himself some dinosaurs. Anyway, now I'm really done, I swear. <laughs> all right, have a great night. Thank you all again for watching five seconds, five moments, five minutes of any of my videos. I appreciate all your love and support. And you guys are super freaking awesome. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Kisses.